I'm Ben with Willrich and today we're going to go over the field cultivators. Willrich has two cultivators, the XL2 and the QX2. The difference being the floating hitch. The QX2 is a floating hitch machine. This machine is a QX2. You can see the cast wheels up front and across front. Now both of them will still have the hydraulically controlled uh, cast wheels for, I'm sorry, hydraulically controlled gauge wheels uh, to help control depth. Um, the QX2 up front, you can also see here, has an optional weight transfer kit that will put weight on the hitch of the machine for transport purposes. Also in this position, you can see the single depth control uh, that is uh, the same across both machines there as well. But when it comes to hookup, uh, a nice feature that we have on these machines are, the, are these grips. Um, it's uh, anodized aluminum, got a good strong grip there, they're polarized. Uh, for your uh, for your different orientation there, and then they're color coded to to help match uh, help identify the uh, different lift and wing fold, all that sort of scenario. So to start off with, and we'll go over uh, shanks. The the uh, cultivators both have a seven inch spacing, um, so and that's spread across five ranks. The uh, the spacing, the layout of the shanks and trip assemblies is what they call a split the middle design. What that does is uh, allow for a nice clean trash flow through the machine and uh, it lessens the drag of the machine overall in general as well. For those uh, shank and trip assemblies, we have two options. You can have a single spring, which is rated at 160 pound trip pressure, or the double spring, which is at 320 pounds of trip pressure. This machine has both because it's primarily a single spring machine, but they're using the double spring in the tire tracks uh, to, to better eliminate the, the tractor tracks there. Um, the, the shanks you can see is a, a form shank. We switch to, it forms to an on edge shank near the sweep to uh, help lessen the draft and uh, reduce plugging there. As we go to the back here, um, you'll see the 31 inch tires here, or the 380 tires, I'm sorry, for flotation. Uh, at the uh, very rear of the machine is where we start to see the attachments. This particular machine has a three bar coil tie and harrow with rolling basket. It also has our new hydraulic lift option. You can see the lift, uh, the hydraulic cylinder on the bottom here. Uh, that, that will lift the, the rolling basket. The down pressure is still being provided up top by the, the down pressure spring here. You can adjust that down pressure by moving that spring to any of these four holes here. The other options for attachments on the back of the cultivators are just the three bar coil tine harrow. You can do a four bar coil tine harrow. Um, you can do the three bar with basket without the hydraulic lift, of course. Um, but you can also do a five bar spike tooth harrow, whatever your uh, operation needs. Um, also on the basket you can do the round bar basket like this or you can do a flat bar basket. The round bar is a little better for a seed bed firming whereas the flat bar is going to break up clumps a little bit better. Uh, these machines also have options for a heavy duty uh, hitch for pulling a secondary implement whether it be a, a rolling packer of sorts or whatever it may be there. Um, the, the harrows you can see some, some adjustment here. Uh, just remove the pin, you change the bar, uh, height here and that will limit how aggressive your harrows are being pulled on there. That's everything for today. Thank you for joining me. We've been going over the uh, Willow Ridge Field Cultivators XL2 and QX2. You can find, uh, find them at your local Willow Ridge dealer. If you don't know where your Willow Ridge dealer is at, go to willowridge.com and click on dealer locator. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.